of all, if we look at the block diagram of a generic RF system, RF meant radio frequency, right? Um, if we look at uh, the generic RF system, it looks this way. For any RF signal to be transmitted or received from or in the air, we need an antenna. Okay, and then in the RF system, we need receive section and uh, we need a transmit section. So we know that if we want to transmit or receive signals, uh, basically um, these will be done at a um, high frequencies where data is mod uh, superimposed onto a carrier of high frequency and we generate a modulated signal and then we do transmit and uh, if we while receiving we extract the data from the modulated signal so let us first look at uh, the transmit section of a rf system so when we look at the transmit system of the rf first of all uh, we will have a microcontroller or something or a processor which is generating the data which is given to a digital to analog converter because the data that we are transmitting out is a is in analog form whereas the data that is trans, that is generated from the microcontrollers are digital signals so we have something called dac okay so the digital to um, analog uh, converter um, generates the analog signal which is uh, mixed um, using a mixer with a VCO and this uh, is amplified uh, using a power amplifier which is P mentioned as PA here and any um, unnecessary high frequency data other than what we require basically the harmonics are filtered down and then transmitted using the antenna here uh, the antenna we see something called spdt switch this is called a single pole double throw switch where this switch switches between the transmit and receive section when we want to transmit the switch will be on the transmit section so um, as we talk the transmit section comprises the um, digital section where actual data is generated and then the digital data is converted into analog using the DAC section and then it is uh, um, mixed with uh, a high frequency carrier um, with a mixer and that high frequency is generated by something called VCO which is called a voltage controlled oscillator and then this is amplified using a power amplifier we have to amplify the signal because um, power amplifier is something uh, because we need to transmit the data at high power right so whatever we are doing here is very low power right so we have to um, generate high power data and then we need to transmit through the antenna this is the transmit section of the um, RF system. Now, if we look at the receive section, so the first section of the receive uh, comprises a filter where this filter filters out all the unnecessary signals and um, this only uh, gives uh, restricts the unnecessary signals and inputs only the uh, required signals to the system like for example let us assume we want to receive a signal of 2.4 gigahertz okay anything um, on either side of this uh, signals will be filtered using this filter okay uh, and then there will be something called a low noise amplifier which is called LNA. So, the thing is when a RF signal is received at the front end, mm -hmm. the signal has very very low power. Okay, so because it is transmitted over the air wirelessly and we have received it. Okay, at the transmitter power might be high but when it is received the power is very very less. So, we have to actually 
simply increase the power such that we can reproduce the signal properly to extract the data. For that, LNA is used. LNA is nothing but low noise amplifier where um, it amplifies the signal uh, above the noise level of the system. So that uh, and that means the signal to noise ratio uh, is maintained and um, LNA is designed such a way that the uh, um, signal goes above the noise level um, and, and amplified uh, and provided as input. And then there can be another filter which is optional, which basically is nothing but uh, which uh, acts on uh, the high power which is generated from the LNA. Uh, here this filter works on low power, this filter works on high power and again here if there are any um, harmonics or anything this can be filtered and it is provided to a mixer um, which basically um, gives out <coughs> a, um, a, the data signals where uh, the carrier can be uh, down uh, removed and you get the actual data signal. This will be fed to something called ADC which is nothing but analog to digital converter because the entire data that we are talking here is a ADC section. So we give to the ADC section and this goes to a um, microcontroller for further receiving the data. So if you see here um, the, the two major components of this particular RF system apart from uh, the transmit and receive section are ADC and the DAC. These are basically um, the mixed signal circuits of the um, system um, where both analog and digital are involved. The front end um, is basically uh, a, a comprises an analog circuit which acts on uh, the received signal and also acts on the data that is being generated out of the DAC. So, um, and ultimately the data uh, that is being received uh, is being processed at <coughs> low frequency uh, by ADC, DAC and uh, the respective controllers at the input. So this is how a generic RF system looks like mm, there might be slight variations um, and there could be some matching related things at the input to match to the antenna uh, and the PCB related things and <clears throat> There could be um, a balloon kind of arrangements that can be used here um, and uh, discrete components for matching. But the basic RF system uh, is this, uh, which is used widely in uh, the radio frequency uh, systems. Uh, hope we gave a glimpse of how RF system looks like. Uh, please post if you have any questions. Thank you.